Good morning, I'm Kalina Estrino. So right now in your 13 Action News update. Starting May 1st, local governments will get to make their own decisions when it comes to pandemic measures. Today, the county commission will vote on their plan. It would allow more seating at restaurants, self-service buffets, and also reopening night and day clubs with social distancing on dance floors. Now, if approved, this plan would go to Governor Steve Sisolak's office for approval. Today, jurors will begin their second day of deliberations in the Derek Chauvin murder trial that remains sequestered until they reach a verdict. Now, here in Las Vegas, businesses are now preparing for unrest regardless of the outcome. Metro Police sent out a statement saying it'll be ready to respond to any potential protests in the valley. Well, today is 420. It's a day where marijuana and the culture surrounding it is celebrated. And as many dispensaries roll out deals, local authorities want to remind everyone do not drive high. NHP says if you're caught driving under the influence of a substance, you can be arrested and fined up to $10,000. So be sure to designate a driver or use rideshare services if you plan to indulge in 420 activities. <laughs> Weather forecast warming up this Tuesday afternoon. We're talking highs in the mid 80s. Good five, six degrees warmer than average on this 20th day of April. Uh, we'll keep it mild this evening down to about 80 degrees after sunset at 8 p.m. Your high 87 in downtown Henderson. Ditto in North Las Vegas, 85 in Pahrump. Also in the mid 80s up in Mesquite. We do need to tell you about some wind. Southwest gusts of about 25 miles per hour. Very end of the afternoon. Breezy this evening and tonight, still breezy on Wednesday and Wednesday. We actually expect temperatures to drop off to the upper 70s, still in the upper 70s. Thursday, Kalina will try to enjoy Thursday as it should be fairly calm. The breeze kicks back in Friday through the weekend and that'll warm us back to the 80s. All right, Justin, thank you. And you can always get the latest news at KTMV.com, our KTMV mobile app, our Roku channel and the latest version of Apple TV.